Hello, math friends. Today we're talking about line plots, and we're going to get a little help from our friend Andy, who owns a candy shop. Mmm, candy. Sometimes Andy likes to record the amount of candy that his customers bought in a table, and then do fun things like plot that data on a line plot. So let's help Andy create the line plot. It's nice to give your line plot a title. The same title as our table will be just fine. The most important part of our line plot is the number line, which in our case will tell us the amount of candy that customers bought. The number of customers is the frequency. Those are the values that go above the number line. Sometimes your line plot will have a key. Sometimes your key will have an icon that's an X or a dot. I just thought today that candy would be more fun. Now let's go ahead and build our line plot. I've marked our number line in eights because that will correspond well to the information we're given. Above two eights, we need to account for six customers. So we'll put six pieces of our candy. Then above six eights, we need four customers. Seven eights is the tick mark right after six eights and that needs three customers. And lastly, at one pound, we have two customers. And voila, we've created a line plot. Now let's see if we can answer a question about a line plot. In this example, we want to know what is the difference between the greatest and least amounts of candy a customer bought. Since this is a number line, we know that the greater values are to the right and the smaller values are to the left. So the greatest value here is one pound where we have two customers. And the least amount that any customer bought was two eighths pound, and that was bought by several customers. But we're just looking for the difference in the amounts. So that's one minus two eighths. Now when we subtract fractions, we know that we need common denominators, so let's convert that one pound to something with an eight in the denominator, which we all know is eight eighths. Now, since we're subtracting fractions with common denominators, we can just leave the denominator and subtract the numerators. And now we have our answer. Okay, let's try another example. Here we want to know the total amount of all the candy bought by customers who bought one-fourth pound of candy. Well, let's look above one-fourth and find the number of customers. That's three. To find a total, we need to add. So we'll add one-fourth three times. Since we're adding fractions with common denominators, we can leave the denominator and just add the numerators. So we find a total of three-fourths pound. Andy thanks you for helping him with his line plot today. And now you can go forth and practice line plots on your own.